OK, so you've just turned your computer on, you've signed into the internet and this happens. All these pop ups come up on the right hand side of your screen. This video is going to show you how you can banish these for good. All the details coming up shortly. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things help us make more great videos for you. So as I say, you've signed into your browser, Google Chrome in my case, and all these pop-ups keep coming up on the right hand side. These are pretty good to be quite honest with you. Some of them are a lot larger. Some of them are telling us that we need antiviruses at times. Some of us like these are just telling us about news stories. So as I say, this guide is going to show you how you can banish these pop-ups for good. I'm going to show you a few different ways of getting rid of them. So you think the best way to get rid of them is just to click on the cross. Well, don't do that. Whatever you do, don't do that at the moment because that'll only temporarily get rid of them. If you want to permanently get rid of them, then what we need to do is we need to click on the three horizontal lines just to the left of the cross. And then we've got a couple of options here. We can click on turn off all notifications for Google Chrome. Now, this means that Google Chrome won't pop up any of these adverts, but it won't tell us about other things either. Or we can go to Chrome notification settings. So that's probably the best thing to do is go to Chrome notification settings. So if we click on that and there we go, it tells us here in the Chrome notification settings that this site has set sent a lot of notifications. So what we've got over here is we've got an option to block those notifications. So we can click on the word block just there and that should get rid of them. I'm just going to close these off just for a second. I mean, blimey, as I'm closing them off, more of them are coming back up. So I'm just going to close a couple of them off just so that I can get to there, there you go. So I can click on block all and there you go. That says notifications not allowed for that particular website. Now you might get notifications from other websites as well. So scroll down a little bit further and these are other websites that are allowed to send notifications. So what we can do there is we can click on the three dots just over on the right and then click on block and that adds them to the block list too. Click on the three dots, click on block, and there you go. That adds them to the block list too. And that means that hopefully you shouldn't get any more notifications from that particular website. Now, other options we've got here is up the top is the default behavior. We've got use quieter message in there, so we can select that if we want less notifications come up or we've got don't allow sites to send notifications. So that is if you don't want any websites to be able to send you notifications. Sometimes these notifications can be handy if you've got your email set up, say for instance, in here and you get a new email coming, it's possible that your email client might send you notifications on the screen as and when a new email comes in. So that might be handy. So. I'd say if you're not sure, then leave it on sites can ask to send notifications or what you could do is you can say don't allow sites to send notifications. And then if you find later on you're missing something, then what you can do is you can go into Chrome settings. So I'm just going to show you how you do that. So you click on the three dots just up there in the top right hand corner go to settings and then go to privacy and security just on the left over there. Go down to site settings down there and then scroll down and find notifications there. And that brings you back here. And if you want, you can go turn that back on to sites can ask to send notifications. Now, if you've accidentally blocked any sites that you think, I actually, I miss those, I want them back. Then again, you can click on the three dots just to the right there and you can change it back to allow. And there you go. That means that that particular website, ESUS, can now send me notifications. Now, you might be thinking to yourself, well, why not remove it? Well, if you remove it, I'll show you what happens. Next time I go to that particular website, so I'm just going to go to ESUS.
and let's just go into it. And there you go. This is how all this started. Up there, it says, ESUS wants to show notifications allow or block. Now, the chances are you've probably clicked allow just to get rid of that box, just to get it out of the way. And that is what's prompted these notifications. So if you find that you get one of these boxes, please understand that if you do click allow, you are going to start to get notifications come up in the right hand side of the screen. So I always recommend if you see any of these, and you think to yourself, no, I don't want notifications coming up left, right and center from that website. Click on block just there. And that website won't be able to send you any more notifications on the right hand side of your screen. And the same applies also for Edge as well. If you get the same problem in Edge, go into it, go into the three dots just over there, go into settings. And then on the left hand side, look for cookies and site permissions and then scroll down to notifications just down there. Click on that. And here we've got a list of websites that have allowed notifications to pop up on the right hand side. So if we click on the three dots, there you go. We've got an option to block it there or if we um, if we want to turn off notifications altogether then we can switch off that ask before sending recommended and it says there will block if turned off or we've got the option there of quiet notification requests and it says this will prevent requests from interrupting you. So you've got that option there too. Well, I hope you like this video and if you did, consider hitting that thanks button and making a donation to this channel. Or if you're unable to do that, then have a look down below in the description. Have a look at my Amazon store where I'm featured all the stuff that I've bought from Amazon recently and liked. You can buy it too if any of it's helpful to you. Or if you're in the market for a new fire stick, a fire TV cube or fire stick accessories, or even looking for a VPN, please consider using the links down below. Donating or using these links to buy and subscribe really does help support this channel. It helps me to be able to dedicate more time into researching and bringing you these videos. And whilst you're at my YouTube channel, why not stick around? I've got thousands of other videos for you right here, right now, covering all sorts of subjects. Hopefully whilst you're here, you're going to find something to educate you, entertain you, amuse you, and maybe even save you some time and money. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things help us make more great videos for you.